<clears throat> My shoe songs, I bet those were hard. All right, it's map 25. Oh, hi. All right, so this is hard. This is 1997 hard. Excuse you. It has to be a circular room. <laughs> I'll make this hard. My Put him in a circular room. Oh, thanks, Lex. If you want to make it hard, don't put Berserk. <laughs> it would have been hard without Berserk. Well, not really. It just would have taken a while. It actually wouldn't have been difficult. Twenty seventeen hard, huh? Yeah, rings of Saturn, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh hi. Um mm. get you to take care of them guys for me, thanks. No, 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 no. You fucking useless mank! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you can still play him, Nikki. People make new Doom maps every fucking day. Pretty much. I'm gonna knock out as many of you as, as I have to, okay? I, I don't mind. I need the practice. It's gonna take a while. Oops. Something hit me in the back. Thank you. Now let's try this door instead. I think that door... That door doesn't go good places. this door instead. There we go. I can punch barons and hell knights now. I have cultivated that. <coughs> yep. Yeah, I played a lot of Commander Keen. And Bio Menace. And Dangerous Dave. Yeah, I grew up with DOS. Don't go behind me, boner. I don't want any boners in my butt. Well, the only hard thing here is the chain gunners. Thanks, buddy. Alright. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm great at this. No! Oh, I didn't think the door was gonna close. Ugh. Oh, I didn't think he was gonna shoot either. Come on, Mank. There you go. When I started streaming, I intended to stream a lot of DOS games. Double knockout! And a lot of PS1 games, and I have not fulfilled that. I'll just 
knock this guy out, huh? See, the difference between this difficulty and the difficulty of the last level is that I don't have to fucking reload if I get touched or if I waste a bullet. There's ammo and health here. So I can fuck up. I don't have to do everything perfect. I can keep going. That's what's so fucking frustrating. It's not because it's difficult. It's because you have to fucking reload. Do it again, but this time do it fucking perfect. I want to be able to fuck up a little bit and keep playing the game, not fucking have to start over every time. Like, there's more health in this room than I saw for, like, the first hour of that other fucking map. I don't even need it. I'm just gonna punch everything on this map, except for the chain gunners. <laughs> let's not punch the chain gunners. Okay. Now let's get some fucking practice here. Don't fuck it up. If he tries to do it fast, it's what fucks me up. Right, I don't have a fucking shotgun, so I don't know why you're giving me one. Uh-oh. Yeah. Nice and easy. Come on. Whoa! See, he did it too quick. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Duke Nukem 1 and 2? Yes. Not a big fan of Duke 3D. I don't like the level design. It's too much like find the fucking secrets in order to progress. I'd rather secrets be secrets. And not require secrets in order to get further. Hi. This I better shoot you. Okay, we got our shotgun. A daily bit goal or sub goal? No. I don't think so. I've been thinking about a cup, but I don't really want to put a bit cup on the screen. I mean, maybe if I just put a bit cup where the camel is, at least when I'm playing Doom, like, there's no reason not to. But I don't want a bit cup on every screen, I don't think. I don't know. I'm mean, gonna think about it, but. But yeah, Duke Nukem 2 blew me away. Like, the graphics of, like, the intro to Duke Nukem 2. When he's firing the machine gun, it's like, oh my god, this is so cool. Because I played a lot of the first one, and then I played the second one, and I was like, oh my god, it's so much better. The graphics are so cooler. Yeah. What's up, hyena? And hello, Broslav. You emailed Twitch. A bed cup has its place because I just drank out of a cup. Asking if you can do blindfolded backflips. Why wouldn't they let you do blindfolded backflips? Of course you can. You can do whatever you want. It's IRL, right? Go away. Fuck off. I'm getting better at Tyson. I'm, I'm improving. Um, it's really about being patient and not panicking. Well, it's a little harder when there's two of them. <laughs> God damn it. 
where is that going? Okay, if I open that, that's that. And this is this. Fuck you. Oh, he chose to shoot me. You don't want to shoot me. I couldn't move out of the way! <sighs> threw some bits and got modded. <laughs> of course you threw bits at the stripper pole! Do I want to hit this button or do the bearings? I think that just like oh, all right. You want to punch this guy? No, no we don't want to. We don't punch him while he's fucking resurrected everything. Jesus. I would like to punch him if he was by himself. He is not. Okay, that's good. That's good. No! Aggro on him, you fuck! Oh, where is he? There he is. No! God damn it. Get back in there. Back in the closet. Damn, he should have died. So, oh yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Hello, Apollo. Yeah, I played Chord G, and this is the next chord that I'm doing. And yes, I do love these a lot. Yeah, they're the fun kind of difficult. But guess what? I don't have to reload! They're so much fun though. I love trying to do them like... Kind of perfectly. Like I could Tyson all these boners down. That'd be fun. Missing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's not do that. That just takes too long. you guys to fight those guys. I don't have to reload though. Fuck that last map on the community chest, man. God. That was so bad. Alright, was there anything back over here? No, this is just the rocket launcher. Oh, 
All right, now we got the barons in here, right? What are we gonna do with uh, the barons? Don't, Bolslav, oh my god. Yeah, you, you missed, yeah, but dude. It's one of the worst levels of my life. Was it worse than map six? Yeah, uh, no, but it was longer. Map six was way worse, but this map was way longer. It took me like two and a half hours to play through map 12. It was just troll after troll after troll. God damn it. Okay, you can stop hitting me now. Fake me out there. I do need the practice, don't I? Pretty soon I'm gonna be punching cyber demons. It makes Seppi happy. punch you though cuz I'm out of shotgun shells oh come on that was bullshit double knockout Not every map in Community Chest is going to be horrendous, is it? Why do I keep failing? Alright, kill one of them at least. Fucking Tyson the other one. He softened up a little bit. Go ahead and save. There you go. Fucking faked me! Wasting fucking time. Every sixth map. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> See you later. We can't. Yeah, we can. I just want to kill one of you and Tyson the other one. Why did I do that? Oh my god. <laughs> Just trap yourself in there, buddy. Great idea. I'm boring myself now, honestly. Alright, we'll just leave them down there, okay? How about that? Let's get out of here. I have the red key. Let's go. Son of a bitch. I fucking think so. Where's my rockets, dude? Come on now. I'm 
Morning, Nintendo. A silly discovery, or was it? Yes, Dubs, this is the perfect stream for you. I will love you someday. No. Don't you see Dubs' pink asshole, Leaf? Obviously, Dubs' been here before. He has a pink asshole bit badge. This has helped me out quite a bit. Screw you guys, I'm moving on. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm hoping that that wasn't you talking to me, though. <laughs> that was me talking to the Barons, right? Uh, you can't leave now, Nikki. It's too late. You're, you're stuck here. All right. I just wish there were more rockets on this level. There's some. Can I get you guys to shoot each other? It's a bad idea. Well, at least I got that guy for me. Mank. There we go. Did he hit him? I can blind dodge a Mank. Let's go. <laughs> I had to say it, didn't I? Alright, let's just go get that fucking... Let's get this. Go oh, hi. Check in. You can check out anytime you want, though. But you can never leave. And people think milk is healthy. It ain't. Yeah, it was a trap. I mean, I knew it was a trap. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. You don't get a free Megasphere in this game. Can I have some damn rockets? Shitty room. Can we just like I don't know how to do this room quickly. Ugh, there's just too much. Manks will just not fire, that'd be fine. Thank you, Manks. You're being awfully nice. What's up, BZ? How you doing? 25,000 bits from one ad! Holy shit. <clears throat> I'm going to have to start watching my own stream then.
Oh yeah, I do get rockets right there, huh? I mean, I, I will if I have to. I'd rather not. I'd rather punch him. Um, <clears throat> depends on the positioning. If I can SSG him, I certainly will. And use the rockets against them instead. I should be able to... Well, as long as I don't have anything behind me. If I rocket these guys, then I can SSG the vial. That's the plan. See what happens. I got four rockets left in case I need them. That's exactly how many I need, right? Milk makes you sick, not gluten. I believe it. Well, vegetables too, leaf and... Well... There's no food that humans are made for, really. It's not like God said, here's some fruit. That's for you. Here's some grass. That's for you animals over there. Christians are weird. Oh, there's one behind me too? What? I didn't expect that. That's why it gives you a megasphere, because there's one on each one on each end. Alright, that'll work. That's fine. It's a little rude. What am I gonna do with this guy? Just fucking chain gun him eventually? Alright, he should be dead. There you go. Alright, nice. 47,000 years. <laughs> Gluten makes you salty and depressed. Damn. Spot the vegan. I'm I'm one. Um, actually, he did. No, he didn't. It, it, it's the weirdest, the strangest belief that Christians have, is that everything was placed here. Right? Like, God made people exactly how we are now and placed them on the planet. And then he was like, okay, well, they need food, so I'm going to place these fruit trees. And I'm going to place these these vegetables. And I'm going to place, I'm going to put all of these things here. And, and they're perfect. And this is my creation. It's like, dude, you do realize that you know, we weren't the same 10,000 years ago. It's a little different. We're not, we're not the same. Our bodies are not the same. We're not static beings. And neither is anything else. It's not like he made this exactly how it is, how it's always been and how it's always going to be. We're changing. You know what else? The sun. It's going to explode. It ain't going to be there forever. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but the sun, it's got a timer on it. Just like every star does. Weird thing to believe, Gorf. 
Because you have to believe that everything is static and nothing is changing. That's a problem, man. Because things are changing constantly. And nothing is perfect. God did make all of this. He sucks, man. You know? He's a terrible fucking God if he made this shit. We're all dying of cancer from shit he made. I didn't like to be offensive. But man. If this is God's thing. Fuck, he fucked it up, dude. I wouldn't want that guy as my god if he made this shit and he, he made it how it is, you know? I can't be offended. I'm not really interested in offending anyone else, so I kind of usually don't talk about these things, but God will protect his son. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we did no 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 you, you can't create something and then that something goes and does something bad and be like it was you it wasn't me you, you can't do that that's not a valid thing that's not valid at all you can't say God created people and people are then evil, but it's not God's fault. It's the people's fault that he created, you know, it, it, of course, that, that, that doesn't work. That just does not compute. Doesn't work. Bill Gates is flawed. That's the whole fucking point. Windows is flawed because the people that made it are flawed. People are flawed. Why? Because God is flawed. A perfect being isn't going to make flawed things. Doesn't make sense. Well, God made people. You can't blame... <laughs> you can't blame a flawed creation for being flawed. The reason it's full of paradoxes is because it rips off all the other religions that came before it, mishmashes them, and then tries to fucking think it's perfect. Christians try to make it say it's perfect when it's just like an amalgamation of bullshit from other places. It doesn't it doesn't make sense because it was just stolen from other places. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, Corf. No sense whatsoever. It could, Dark Child. That doesn't make any sense either. There's tons and tons and tons of evidence of being stolen from other places, but Christians and our Christian society refuse to talk about these things because it would invalidate their whole reason for being. Go to YouTube and type Zeitgeist, the movie. All right? Now, that movie is not perfect. It is flawed itself. But, uh, you know, it uh, it shares all an overwhelming uh, amount of information about what Christianity stole from. Like, it's ridiculous how much is stolen. <laughs> It's crazy. 
And you know what else doesn't have any source? No source to back it up? The Bible. The Bible has no source. No source. None. The Bible has no, no source. hell is going on here? I don't have the yellow key, so I don't know if I need to be here yet or not. That looks like the exit. What am I looking at here? Why is this map suddenly turned into bullshit? I think I went the wrong way. I need to go somewhere else. No oh, berserk, what am I doing? This way, oops. <sighs> That's all the math Dubs is doing this week. Talk, can talk about whatever they want and I can rant about it occasionally but to be honest the whole religion thing it bores me again y'all can talk about whatever you want I don't care it's your chat not mine um, but I was raised Christian and I was forced to be a Christian for 20 about 20 years of my life and I'm not bitter, and I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't blame any Christianity or anything else. Okay, I, I do have psychological issues from Christianity. I will say that. I'm not bitter or, or you know, angry at Christians or, or God or whatever, but it does bore the absolute shit out of me these days. It's insanely boring um, to discuss uh, most issues about Christianity or religion in general. You know, New Age is like really old now, right? It's not new anymore. <laughs> if you use the term New Age, you're you're as old as me, Gorf. <laughs> I remember when New Age was the enemy. I remember when I was a kid, and it was Christianity, and then you had this new age, new age that came in and was threatening Christianity. I remember this when I was like eight fucking years old. This was like 30 fucking years ago. And I remember them saying that 30 years ago. The new age isn't new, it's old. <laughs> Damn it, Gorf. You're bringing back my childhood. <laughs> Damn it, Gorf. <laughs> uh, there you go. I, I like that strong man. Yes. I agree. It, it is not good to, for people psychologically. It is not. It's really not. The fundamentals, uh, the fundamental psychology of Christianity, it's detrimental. It is not good. Damn it. I'm just gonna miss. I don't know, I know what the problem is. I'm supposed to be knocking these boners out. I'm being punished for my laziness here. All right. Okay, now we're up here on this side. That's good. Look, health! It's so good! There's health! I don't have to load! <sighs> oh, 
Alright, so the biggest problem, the big problem, is that uh, Christians give God a personality. To Christians, God is a is a man, right? God has emotions. This is the biggest problem. God is an angry, jealous God. God is this, God is that. God listens to prayers. I mean, th this is the problem, okay? An omniscient being, an all-powerful, all-knowing being does not have a fucking personality. Does not have... Where do our emotions come from? They come from our brain. Our physical brain is where our emotions and our thoughts and our feelings come from. A God who is all-knowing and all-powerful does not have a fucking brain. That it, you cannot have an omnipotent, omniscient being with petty human emotions. People anthropomorphize God. They give God human characteristics. That's why the Christian God is fake and bullshit. Because it's it can't even fucking happen. You can't have a, a omniscience and omnipotence and human emotions in the same being. That does not fucking happen. It's impossible. Yes, petty emotion. The pettiest emotion ever. I mean, we can we can we can go with what the Bible says if you want. We can we can talk about how God caused bears to murder children for making fun of his prophet. How about that? How about children made fun of Elijah so God, with his petty fucking emotions, murdered children with bears? Not petty? Not complete fucking bullshit? Who would want to worship that fucking douchebag? I'm not going to worship some fucking asshole who goes around wiping out entire fucking races of humans. Fuck that guy. If God is real, fuck him. Send me to hell. I'm not going to side with that fucking psychopath. Hell no. That's terrible. The Bible is absolutely chock full of these things. Why would I ever be be on that side? That is the wrong side. No fucking way. There's a uh... Right, yeah, Dark Child. Uh, there's no evidence, right? There's value in most myths. I mean, there's, there can be value in anything, so. Right, Dark Child. I mean, I, I'm not saying there is no God. I'm saying uh, there is the Christian standard of a God absolutely one billion percent does not exist. If there is something, it is absolutely nothing like people think. And I do a no check, by the way. Um... But yeah, 
Satanists are the weirdest thing ever because they believe in a god that who was created by a religion they don't believe in. Okay, so there's two enemies left. I think we're done though. I don't know where those other two enemies are though. This is the end. Hmm. There's one secret, so it's got to be the two enemies in one secret. Anyway, we're done with that one. That was great. That was Chord 1. I love the Chord series. <clears throat>